UFC Bantamweight tilt. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 25 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Corey Sandhagen! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stop. Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Just missed with the left there. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. He blocks the punch. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. Oh! Well, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna take off more here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. There it is. So he taps out oh, due oh, to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling there. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. He got him! Yeah, that's about as good as he's looked in the grappling realm, and he stayed focused on the arm bar. He kept going back. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by a tap out, the Warrior. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission, and they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to... 